Welcome back to Investing with Confidence. I am your host, Joshua David, talking about the do's and the don'ts of the financial markets. Stocks, options, futures, and forex. Cryptocurrency are the topics for today. And on our sponsor, Online Trading Academy, on their 25th year, teaching people just like you how to trade and invest in these beautiful financial markets. If you happen to miss two tickets for that investing class right here on Bloomington, call 952 952- 814-4410, or just text the word invest to the number 484848. And as I was talking about in the last section about using other assets for short-term trading and investing, it's not just, it's not day trading. It's just having a position where you're in and out, maybe the same day or maybe even a couple of weeks at a time. So it's having multiple strategies for short-term and longer-term investing. Now, I wanted to talk about, and I kind of gave a little trailer at the last segment, about where most of you are probably looking for your financial knowledge, but it probably has a negative impact on your accounts. And just kind of think about this for a second. You know, I, I love to do things on YouTube. We stream this on YouTube, which is great, but there's a lot of oh, gurus out there that are giving advice on trading and investing. I mean, you don't really know who it is. It's, it's one person, really. Giving advice, right? Mm -hmm. You know, it could be a 16-year-old in their basement, which they may have done a good thing, but it's just that one person. And you really need a a collaborative group of people giving knowledge and then also building skills and helping people to build skills, especially in the financial markets, because as I was talking about earlier, is everybody has different goals, everybody has different objectives. But also, everybody learns a little bit differently as well. Right. You want to have people that have the right, the right mindset, the same mindset, or even personality to learn trading and investment skills. So let's talk about that a little bit with our sponsor, Online Trading Academy. Talk a little bit about how their education works and the ins- caliber of instructors that are actually teaching the courses. Well, that's pretty important. And when you when you think about it, uh, Josh, the, the majority of retail traders that try to do this on their own lose money um, when they start trading. So the question, I guess, then becomes where did they get the knowledge? Where did they get the strategies or information on the strategies that they're using? Because if the majority of them are losing, then maybe they need to look somewhere else. Yeah. What uh, OTA has done, in remember, uh, Online Trading Academy started out as a trading floor years ago, back in 1997, when that was one of only two ways of accessing the market. You either had to uh, rent space and a monitor and a, a trading floor, or you had to go through a, a broker. And what we found is that the majority of the people that were coming in really didn't know what they were doing, really kind of blowing through their accounts pretty quickly. So we started to actually put them in contact with professionals, guys that, that have traded these markets for years, and they started doing well. The people that were gu- being guided by them started doing well. That's how we just decided to kind of morph into a, an education facility, now the largest in, in the world, international, with bricks and mortar locations to go to. But what we do is we have access to a number of traders and investors. Some of them worked on the floor of the Chicago Board of Options, trading options yep. professionally. Some on the Chicago Mercantile Exchange, trading futures professionally. Some maybe ran hedge funds. Some were students that just picked this up very quickly and became very effective with it. Uh, one of our traders was actually the market maker for a major brokerage firm. So it's the experience that I'm talking about that I'm getting to. If you're going to learn how to do this, just like anything else, uh, if you're going to take flying lessons, are you going to take flying lessons from some 15- or 16-year-old kid that maybe learned in, through a book and, and uh, somehow got licensed? Or do you want to learn from a senior captain at, at Delta or, or United? Big difference there. There's a big difference there. And and we take very seriously what we provide our students and, and how we teach. So we want people that have not only experience, say, trading stock or experience trading options or futures or Forex. And we have people that have experience in all those but have gone through different market conditions, bear markets, um, corrections, major bull markets, all of the different things that could impact a, a person and their trading. So you get back to or down to what I had said earlier in the show where you shouldn't have a situation arise. I think I said this <laughs> this time. I know I've said it before. <laughs> but you should never have a situation arise where you have to go, oh, 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 no, what do I do now? Because you know, and it's part of your trading plan. So learn from somebody 
who has had experience, who, who has gone through the, you know, the, the ups and the downs. And so you don't have to go through the downs. Go, you, you want to concentrate on the ups. Concentrate on what is factually important as a trader or investor. And, and what we've done is kind of simplified things by making it really as, as uh, you know, uncluttered as possible, I guess is a way to put it. Concentrate on what's important. What's important? If you're going to get into a trade or investment, basically you want it to profit. You want to be a profit there for you. And you do that by identifying the right price to get into it. And, and what we know that the origin of any move in price is going to be when that supply and demand, when the buyers and sellers are out of balance, and, and it has to be out of balance in a significant enough way to move price. Who does that? It's the big institutions. It's the players, the people that have hundreds of millions or billions of dollars to put into a position and then consequently to have to take it out at some point in time. Those are the people that move the price. Those are the people that we want to concentrate on. Why not just emulate the smart money, emulate the people that are are successful, and then learn the strategies, learn how to do what they're doing? Because they're showing us what they do. Let them do all the work, and then we just kind of ride their, their coattails. Yeah, and really how the markets actually function is just an exchange of money, right? It's just sure. an exchange of capital from the people that don't know what they're doing to the people that do. So us as retail investors, we want to be able to put you know bridge that gap. How mm -hmm. do we close that gap from the, the retail side to the institutions? And it's really education, knowledge, and it's making smart investing decisions, but you got to get the knowledge first. And it starts in these investing classes uh, right here on Bloomington. Al actually teach these and dives right into how these markets actually function. How to use you know years and years of experience to your advantage. How to make smart investing decisions, whether you're in short-term accounts or long-term. So just text the word "invest" to the number four eight four eight four eight for two tickets. You're going to receive a financial quick start kit just for doing that. But you got to register. It's the second step. You got to click the link that we text you right back. Text the word "invest" to the number four eight four eight four eight. So Al, we so you have to have years of experience teaching you how to trade and invest. You can't just, it, you can't learn enough YouTube. I, I, I don't know anybody that really has because it's, you don't know where that knowledge is coming from. By, and the fact of the matter, it's just knowledge that you don't have any skill building there. But when you have a retirement accounts, that is, you know, we talk to a lot of people and that is some of the things that I think a lot of people might be not afraid of, but just maybe a little reluctant to actually manage their portfolios because sure. it's not because they're afraid. It's just because there's something different, right? And when you, when you don't know what, what to expect, it is sometimes scary, but you know what? You, you can't put your head in the sand because if you don't do something, nothing will change. Mm -hmm. So real quick, I know we're getting close to the end of the segment. Just real quick, explain how to, how someone would sell, uh, start to self-direct their account, and then in the next segment, we'll get it deeper into retirement. Sure. Well, well first, start with knowing that you can do that. You have the opportunity to self-direct your assets. They're your assets. It's your money. You do not have to work with a broker. You do not have to have somebody make decisions for you. You have the opportunity to do that. But one of the things that you do by by self-directing is you eliminate the cost of having somebody else involved. And if that's somebody else who's involved isn't providing significant benefit, you know, why go through that cost? What we show you how to do is to identify different assets that might be more appropriate for you, for, for how unique you are. What we find is that a lot of the financial advisors and brokers out there have their own biases to how trades and investments should go. So you may be kind of steered towards something that is a bias of the of the advisor, the investor, not necessarily something that might be in, in your best interest. If you're looking for short-term income, whether it's while you're still working, or uh, if you're looking at ways of, of uh, uh, accessing income from your retirement portfolios, those are shorter-term trades, which a lot of brokers can't do because of the number of people they have to work with. You know, if you have two, three, four hundred people that you're working with, it's pretty hard then to concentrate on uh, assets or investments that or trades that you, that people get into and out of in a day or a couple of days or or maybe a week. That, that just isn't enough time to do that. Yeah. So it, it's much easier for them to put you in something that is that kind of long term hands off. Uh, on cruise control type of a uh, of a strategy. Yeah, these segments go by so quick. Let's continue that in the next segment. But we sure. have a lot of people that 
are, they want to get started to self-direct their accounts and make smart investing decisions with people that have years and years of experience in these financial markets. So just call 952. This is for callers 1 through 10. Call 952-814-4410 for two tickets for this investing class right here in Bloomington, whether it's a Saturday or even during the week. Uh, we do these in the morning typically. Uh, Al teaches these and just years of experience in the financial markets. You can also text the word INVEST to the number 484848. When you do that, you got to click the link that we send back to you and pick a date for this class. We have several coming up in the next few weeks here. Lots of time for the holidays to learn more about financial, uh, the financial markets. Coming up next, I want to continue talking about self-directing within retirement accounts, the fees that come along with them, how to minimize those fees within 401ks and IRAs. This is Josh and Al. We'll be right back. <music> 